Splunk Enterprise Security, you are provided a giant library of use cases where you can go through and find out descriptions, stories, etc. And these are really useful, but have you ever wanted to build your own use case? I know that I have been requested on Discord and in chat on YouTube to be able to sh demonstrate how to build your own custom use case libraries. So that's what we're going to cover today. We are going to build use case libraries within enterprise security. So let's jump into that. First thing we need is we need a search. We've got to have, we're going to use a use case, but we're going to need some, uh, we're going to need a correlation search or a safe search that's going to reference. I'm going to build a correlation search. Please recognize that this example here is not a good example. Fields down here look like they might be something, but they're not related. Anyway, I got index equals internal head one table time. All I needed was just some sort of query to work with. All right, we're going to come in here and we're going to go to uh, conf uh, configure content content management and I'm going to build me a correlation search I'm going to build me a real simple one if you want uh, to know how to work on building your own correlation searches click the video up above that'll take you to uh, building correlation searches we're just going to breeze through this one here so I'm going to click this new correlation search and I'm going to call it YouTube use case example we're going to run it in enterprise security, demo for use case. We're going to give it a search. Now, you should put some MITRE techniques in here so it looks all nice and pretty. But I, I unfortunately, I was a little disappointed that there isn't a one-to-one -one relationship. When you look at these use cases, there's some really cool stuff. Like if I go into this AWS crypto mining, I can see the tactics and techniques that are being used in the library. You would think those would be derived from the correlation search. And they are, but not this piece. When you actually put the searches in, you got to find them again. So I'm going to call them out, but I'm going to specifically show that I put T1190 in there, and that's the one I used. Um, but I'm going, to use in a I'm going to use a different one later. I don't want this running all the time, so I'm going to make this run at 5 after the hour. That's cool. At 1. That way it's not going to run. I don't need it to run. I just need a correlation search done. I could put notables and other things in there. I'm not going to. I'm going to add its bare root. I just need a correlation search that I can ask. I can reference later. So I hit save. My, my correlation search is done. Now... We're going to come in here and we're going to configure content, hit the wrong thing, content, and we're going to go to content management. And we are going to create new content. The very first option is an analytic story. Now, so that it looks nice and filled out, I've actually already pre-populated a bun bunch of information and so that I don't have to fill it all out. We're going to call this here my YouTube analytic story. And then my description, I want a nice, good, long description. So I already took it here. Nice, long write-up. I'm going to come in here and write it. There should be a narrative, and a narrative is going to be so adversaries may use this technique to maximize the impact on the target organization and operations where network-wide availability interruption is the goal. So we're kind of giving a little story as to why they might do this. Here is a description about, this is about acid rain. I actually stole this right from one of the use cases they have, and I'm just repasting it. And so here's about acid rain, a description about it, how it works. Here's the narrative. And I'm going to pick a category it belongs to. I'm going to call it an adversary tactic. It's just a means of uh, sorting these things. And you'll see it if you come to the analytic story details. And I go back to case library. Along this left-hand side are those drop-down options. So we got abuse, adversary tactics, best practice, cloud security. You'll notice that matches to what's being dropped here. So then I can go, I can put a reference. Sure, if you want a document to read about this. So here's um, Acid Rain's documentation. I'll copy that in. You can put multiple references. So I can just hit another reference. When was this last updated? I'm going to set today because I'm just making it. And I'll make this version 1. 
and then I can add a search. This is why I needed the correlation search built beforehand. This is going. To, this takes a little minute for have some patience. It'll ultimately lo load up a long uh, list, and I'm going to type in YouTube, and there I can find my YouTube use case example. Grab that, and now I'm going to come in here. And I'm, I can choose, is this a detection uh, or is it an investigation? We're going to call it detection. We'll leave the status alone. What kind of asset type? We're going to say endpoint. What confidence level? I'm going to say high. Explanation. Let's just go still that. So we this will give a little more writing here and you can see this is an analytic to detect the detection of a cron job analytics machine this technique can be related to an attacker threat where anyway so i just write down a nice little explanation how is it implemented to successfully implement the search you need to be ingesting logs with a process name parent process and command line executions from your endpoints if you're using sysmon you can use the add-on for linux sysmon uh, from splunkbase so i'm just going to go put that in there are there any known false positives? So you'll you'll spell out some false positives. And now you've got yourself, and here's earliest time offset, latest time offset. This is when you're going to do your drill down into search. It says, hey, I'm going to look uh, a minute into the future, three hours, whatever the case may be. We're going to say, let's go look um, 60 minutes into the future and 60 minutes into the past. And so, and then are there any technologies you need? And so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say, we can already see that it says you wanna use Linux Sysmon from Splunk Base. So I'm gonna write Linux Sysmon. I'm gonna put in here, why not Splunk Sim. I don't know why you need that, but we're going to put it in there. So you can just list the technologies, the little TAs that you need for this. And we should be good there. And so if I, my annotations is gone, which is interesting why I have no ability to get the annotations at this moment. I'm going to hit save, close that out. And now if I come back in here, Annotations is still not there. Okay, we're gonna figure out what, why. Last time when I was demoing this, I need to put the annotations in manually. Maybe it took them this time, so that would be nice. Here's a maintainer. This could be who's going to be uh, maintaining this, and this will be lame creations at some email at gmail.com. My own company. So you got a little documentation as to who's keeping track of it. I hit save and now I can go back to my content management and if I go look up YouTube I should see an analytics story called YouTube analytics story. I click on that Oops, sorry, that's not where I want to go. I want to come to the use case library. Let's refresh to make sure it's all in there. And I'm going to then click over here. There will be a filter. We're going to type YouTube. YouTube. And there's my story, my use case, my description. And let's go ahead and open that. If I expand that, I can see recommended data sources, Linux Sysmons, Splunk Sim. You can see where I put that in there. Um, I can go in and click the story. And we can see that that's where the technologies pieces come from. Here are my detections, and that's how they came in. That's my uh, use case. If I had investigations, there'd be a tab here with those use cases. I can see my description, explanation, my search, how to implement, known false positives. And for some weird reason, it doesn't do the search. So let's, go, let's find out what, what I got to do to get those little annotations in there. So I'm now going to come in here and hit edit. And now 
annotations pops up. I mentioned that annotations had to be manually put in. It seems like you have to save everything and then you come back and you can put the annotations in. And remember I put T1190 in there? It's not there. So I'm going to do it's specifically stay away from T1190. And I'm going to put T1067. I'm going to come up here and say it's also critical security control 2. And that they're using NIST, CA6. All these are just made up. They're not made up controls, but I'm, this control doesn't cover them. I'm going to hit, oh, I lost this one, CSC2. Take that, hit save. And now if I hit save here, back to analytic story details. Now I'll have MITRE techniques over here and other annotations. So you can see, notice 1190, even though that was in my correlation search, it didn't show up here. They're not related, which is kind of interesting. I'm surprised they're not. I would, it would, in the ideal world, if you make it in the correlation search, it should be able to pull that out and use it here, but it's not. So you got to go manually add those. But anyway, so that gives you, so if you come in and you look at a analytic story, so let's just go do that again, configure, and I go data enrichment content, use case library. I'm going to go grab the purple rain. Uh, we'll go grab one of these. And I'll show a demo of it, and we can see where each of those pieces come from. So if I go grab AWS Crypto Mining, mine's going to look very similar. We remember here's the description, here's the narrative, and notice that's description, narrative, references, the CIS stuff, here's their technologies, there's my technologies, they have detection differences they have detection and investigation so it's just a different set they added three six eleven different save searches i only put my one in there and it was this is detection so it fall in, fell under there anyway and so that's how that all gets done uh now you know how to make your own custom use cases and I hope that was helpful. I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja. And please keep looking at, uh, if you like this, subscribe to my channel. There are lots and lots of videos. I have lots of playlists. Hope that this stuff can be helpful in improving your uh, journey into becoming a true cybersecurity expert. And hope that you'll keep coming back.